evening welcome back to the fireburns within channel time for an album review i've seen quite a lot of people do an album review for this one so i thought let me join the bandwagon um so i've got to get through this quickly because I, I tend to talk too much about each song and then it gets longer than 10 minutes and no one cares so i've got to keep this under 10 minutes okay um let's get on with this track one rip roaring start chorus is okay uh could be better riffs are absolutely blistering solo is blistering too uh it's my favorite part of the song 7.5 out of 10 uh track two is called burn the sky foot is not taken off the pedal one bit hammering riffage nailing you hard eric ak sounds like a man possessed on this track chorus is okay not wowed by the chorus but the music is absolutely faultless faultless melodic thrash metal eight out of ten track three is brace for impact the pedal is still getting hammered no let up at all killer riff it gallops sweetly this time the chorus is a little better than the previous two Eric's melodies grip you a bit harder on this track. Three tracks of blistering, blistering metal so far. Slong slows down a touch for breath uh, in the middle towards the end, and it's all the better for it as well. It becomes sort of more, I don't know, more engaging, you know, a little, little bit more to it, a little bit more light and shade. So 8.5 out of 10 for Brace for Impact. Track four is A Place to Die. This this song has a stomping killer riff, uh, tasty little guitar squeals, a uh, little bit of pinch harmonic, add a little bit of flavor. Uh, best riff of the album so far, in my opinion. The verses gallop. The chorus opens with the first real, real catchy melody, a memorable melody from Eric. You know, this is my favorite song so far love the gallop reminds me of testament's uh, last album and the song um, children of the next level i don't know if you remember that one it's got a similar gallop uh, chorus melody is awesome uh, yeah, i just love the way it's sung solo is killer guitar work just amazing nine out of ten for a place to die okay track five is called the walls um finally not absolutely helter skelter but an upbeat mid-tempo riff and then a nice sweet gallop most melodic song so far even more melodic than a place to die definitely my favorite song so far um, you know I love the walls uh, the pre-chorus chorus melody from Eric is awesome and then the chorus comes along and takes us into glorious melody land I mean it really is a catchy one that one really epic sounding the way Eric sings it is awesome he sounds so powerful he sounds majestic the lyrics are really cool as well. Uh, it's, it's just an awesome, awesome tune. Uh, the walls, <laughs> you know, after you know, after you know, quite a lot of blistering thrash metal, we needed a, a melodic tune with a great feel, great melody, great tempo, and the walls provides that. Um, Nine point five out of ten for this track. Almost a full house, but. You know, I'm a bit mean, so I have to knock down half a point. Track six is called Cry for the Dead. It's got a quiet start. Eric is sort of crooning at the beginning to let us catch breath. And then the song gets really quite heavy and moody with sort of like a great uh, keyboard melody, I think it is. It sounds like a mix between keyboard and guitar. They're playing the same sort of melody. This song is a bit different but it's all the better for it i mean I, I really find this really quite a nice difference uh different style almost uh just melodic heavy metal if you like eric's vocals are just wicked on this track they're very powerful this is a very heartfelt track uh when eric screams the line um 
I can't live without the ones I love. Uh, you really feel it. I mean, you really feel the the emotion of that line. Uh, and then you get the really gorgeous uh, melody line where uh, he sings "I Cry for the Dead" in the chorus. Uh, that that line is also again very very cool to listen to. Um, the solo that follows is really beautiful. This is like a semi power ballad, if you like, but it's sort of yeah semi. It's not a full on ballad, but it's a magic magic song. I love it almost as much as the walls, but not quite. But Still an easy 9 out of 10. Track 7 is The Wicked Hour. Time to let rip again. A thumping riff. Pounding drums. The song twists and turns before the chorus comes. And is sung very well by Eric. But it's, it's just not my fave on the album. You know, it's it's just a good song. It's not like really catching my ear but it, it does grow and it does show like you know their heavy speedy side again in case you'd forgotten <laughs> that what they'd done on the first few songs but a solid song 7.5 out of 10 track 8 is called too many lives um, it's got a hammering galloping riff soon starts this one off and we're off on that sort of familiar run through that they've already used on this album that galloping uh, thrash metal feel Eric's voice is awesome he hits some tasty tasty highs on this song the song is sort of very pessimistic lyric wise you know it's quite misanthropic talking about overpopulation humans you know living you know above uh, the earth's means uh, the pre the pre chorus on this song really threw me at first. It was like, this is a bit odd, you, you know. When he sings the line, one five one k people die every day, three hundred and fifty k people are born every day. That line really threw me at first, but then I absolutely started loving it, especially the riff that's behind it. The riff behind it just makes it so awesome, so catchy sounding. It's just one of my favourite parts on the whole album. I mean, I just love that bit. I just love that section. The solo is sort of slower, very melodic. Cor chorus again is very uh, sort of uh, anti, anti-human, anti-people. It's sort of like saying everyone's evil. You know, look into their eyes and etc. But I just love this song. I end up loving it after initially being thrown by it i've really grown to love this so a nine out of ten again track nine is called gray dragon no rest for the wicked very fast twisty turny riff uh, rampage you know very raspy but still clear vocal from eric uh, he holds some great high notes on this on the chorus very fast and heavy and shreddy track uh, I, I really ended up liking it so 8.5 out of 10 track 10 is re-aggression foot still on the pedal pretty much opening riff it's a bit average sounding you've heard a better version of it on this album already great couple of notes from eric uh, rhyming say the word more with the word door he really holds those lines uh, very well uh, song slows down in the middle some very nice uh, held notes again by Eric when he sings the title word re-aggression it's, it's an okay song overall it's just not my favorite on the album 7.5 out of 10 track 11 is called undone uh, a very nice melodic riff starts this one you know i like it when they go melodic and not full on thrash metal on this album very nice twists and turns on this one still pretty up tempo pretty thrashy but still more melodic the chorus is very cool not amazing but pretty cool uh, uh chorus v vibe of the song is really cool awesome riff like i said lead work as usual is amazing uh very cool song overall 8.5 out of 10. track 12 is the final track on the album seven seconds till the end of the world one last chance to break the speed limit and that's what they do 
put the foot down Eric is snarling away ranting away on the vocals but still with melody still uh, you know great drum work on this as well great uh, drum feels uh, during the melodic pre-chorus I love the pre-chorus on this song uh, the chorus comes after and the urge to scream along with uh, Eric is strong you know where he when he sings seven seconds to the end of the world like that you really want to scream along and you do in the end eventually um, so I really enjoyed this song it's a ripping face melting end to a rip roaring melodic thrash heavy metal album so nine out of ten for this track final thoughts on this album the album overall is pretty amazing I must admit um, not every song fills me you know with uh, you know complete uh, abandonment of uh, myself you know with joy and head banging and all that but just the quality is so high even even the songs I don't you know I don't love I, I, I respect that I'd never skip I, I enjoy them for what they are I just look for my favorite ones my favorite three tracks are the walls a place to die and cry for the dead but i like i like a lot of the other ones as well a couple were uh, sort of uh, less good which i've mentioned but the average for this album working out my averages on every song is 8.45 out of 10 so just round that up to eight and a half out of ten a rock rock solid uh, album for, from the flotsam and jetsam boys um the previous album the end of chaos i really really loved i mean a couple of the songs from that album i prefer over this but between the two of them between the two of the albums together i mean it's just a great one two punch i mean just amazing stuff by this band so late in their career um eric ak he's an amazing singer wow the guy packs melody and power all of it is in great abundance on a Flots album. This will easily be in the reckoning for album of the month. I mean, I haven't heard too many albums this month, about five or six so far. But um, yeah, this one is the top dog at the moment. 8.5 out of 10. Okay, hope that wasn't too long. Stay tuned.